In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to determine the degree of a relationship and use that information to create a linear graph. This works for proportional relationships, where one variable is proportional to some power of the other variable, which is a really common type of relationship in physics. There are three main shapes that a proportional relationship can have. It can either asymptote both the x and y axis, it can curve downwards, or it can, cur can curve upwards. Each of these shapes corresponds to a range of b values for the relationship. Now, when you get some data from an experiment and you graph it, it's going to be pretty obvious which of the three categories it fits in, based on whether it's curving up, curving down, or asymptoting. But you're not going to be able to tell whether it's a graph that's x to the 2, x to the 3, or x to the 4 just by looking at it. And sometimes you get a graph that looks quite linear, but it actually has a slight curve. And there might be another, a better fit than uh, just using a linear fit. There's two main methods for determining the degree of the relationship. There's the power regression method and the log-log method. Today I'm going to show you how to use the power regression method using Logger Pro. Although this could also be done using Excel or some other spreadsheet program. The log-log method is a more traditional method that could be done simply using a scientific calculator. Okay, first thing you got to do when you're setting up your file, we you should set up the headings. One thing that's nice about this program is that when we set up the headings over here, they automatically correspond to the, um, the axis labels. There we, go. we double click over here. Uh, then we type in the name of the X variable and the data that we're going to use is the data from your note. Uh, so basically what we're looking at is we're looking at the, the price of an item and we're going to use P and that's in dollars and we're going to compare that with the number of items that end up getting sold. Number sold and the short name is N and there's no units for that one. So the data in your notes is basically that we have five, six, seven, just type it in. Okay, so the data's in right now. Um, some of the defaults of Logger Pro are a little bit annoying, so we're just going to change this up to make it look a little bit, a little bit nicer. First thing you always want to do is you want to adjust your axes so that it uh, fits the data. Nice and easy way to do that is to just click the A button up here, which is the auto scale button and it automatically fits the screen to the data that you have. Unfortunately, we don't really see the data here. So what we have to do is we have to double click on the, um, on the line of best fit. Uh, we want to add some point protectors, which are little circles that go around the points. We do not want to connect the points. Um, and I think that's it. So this looks a lot nicer because we see our data points. Um, we see that they have some kind of a nice curve and we know that it has to be some kind of an inverse relationship. So our B value has to be negative some number. So in order to figure out what that negative number is, what we do is we go analyze and we want to do a curve fit. And the curve that you use for this would be a power regression. So we go down to the power regression formula. We click on, click on the power regression. We try a fit. Okay, and it automatically shows us what the relationship is. Um, this relationship has a bit of extra information. We don't really want to see the uncertainties. Um, and we probably don't want this many significant figures. 
that's probably good. Maybe even less than that. Okay. So what we have here is we see that the B value that ends up being produced is basically negative 0 0.98. What that tells me is that this relationship is likely to be an inverse relationship, a straightforward inver inverse relationship where the B value is negative 1. Now that we've shown that the relationship is an inverse relationship where n is proportional to p to the negative 1, uh, we can follow the steps that were discussed in the video, in the previous video, um, that produce a linear graph from this. So the first step that we need to do is we need to come up with another column showing the the new values of when you raise price, when you raise each of these price values to the power of negative 1. Now this is much easier to do in Logger Pro than it is to do by hand. What you do is you, you go analyze, no, you go data, um, new calculated column, <coughs> And this calculated column is going to be price to the power of negative 1. It's going to take me a couple seconds here. The short name is P to the exponent of negative 1. And the units are going to be dollar sign to the power of negative 1. And then the equation of this, we have to refer to the one of the other columns. And we're going to raise it to the power of negative 1. So the symbol that we use here is the, the, the little upside down V on top of the 6 on your keyboard. You go none. And what it does is it automatically takes every single price value you have in there and raises it to the power of negative 1. So you don't have to do each calculation. Now our graph still shows uh, price versus number sold, but we want to see price to the negative 1. So what we do is we just so click on the label down here and we select price to the negative one and this it, it shows our data now where the uh, the the horizontal axis is representing price to the negative one so what we're going to have to do in order to um, in order to show this data better is we need to re readjust our axes it's pretty linear to me, so we're going to insert a linear fit, analyze, linear fit, and it produces a straight line. The line doesn't entirely fit the data, but it's close enough. Um, 